In other words, if the War Department tells you that the body of a soldier is Private John Smith, then you can rest assured it is Private John Smith. There's absolutely no chance of a slip-up. I think a lot of people will be relieved to hear that. Indeed, they will. Some people wonder just who the government recognizes as next of kin. Yesterday, while I was having heels put on my shoes, I was explaining next of kin to Tony Corelli and his wife. Mamma mia! Here, I'll show you how it works. You see, when men entered the Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard, they named their next of kin. But the Army has a definite order of next of kin. Here it is. If the soldier was not married, then the first person who would have the right to choose would be the father. If there's no father, then the mother. If there's no mother, then brothers over 21 years of age. The oldest one first. If there are no brothers, then sisters over 21. If there are no sisters, then relatives. The closest relative coming first. No. He's a no there. Okay. Let's look at the rest. Now, if the soldier was married, the first person who would have the right to choose would be the widow. Then would come sons over 21 years of age.